Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer writing in. This is Stephen, and uh, he says, oh, the heading is your excellent advice required. Well, thank you. Um, he says, hello, Matt. I have watched your excellent Art of the Image videos on YouTube for a number of years. If I need help in selecting gear, you're the man. <laughs> Recently, thank you very much. Uh, I'm blushing probably because you're flattering me. Recently, I purchased a Nikon D5600 with the 18-55 to kit lens, and I added the 35 f one8 Later in the year, in November, I'm planning a trip to New York, and I would like to ask you, what lens should I add to my setup? I've looked at the Nikon 18-140 and the 18-200 and leave the kit lens at home or add the 55-200 lens. Weight to carry whilst walking is an important thing to consider. Finally, haven't been in New York previously. My biggest problem is trying to get great pictures in low light and night photography while I'm there. Any uh, guidance and lens recommendations would be greatly appreciated. Kindest regards, Stephen. Well, thanks for your question, Stephen. Nice little camera, the D5600, good choice. Small, light, and very top-performing uh, sensor in there and good autofocus system. Um, I would switch your 18-55 to kit lens for either the 18-140 to or the 18-200. Actually, if it was me, I'd get the 18-300. to If that's within your budget, I like that huge range. It's a great walk-around lens, great travel lens, and it covers you right from wide to super long in the sense of 300, which is 450 on an APS-C DX sensor with the 1.5 crop, which is your effective field of view, uh, same in, in terms of 35 millimeters. So that's what I would do. 18 to 200 is fine too, but if you can spring it, that 300 just gives you that extra reach and it's nice to have. 18 to 140 is not a bad one too, but I just like to have the longer ones, as you can tell. That's what I would do over adding the 55 to 200. Uh, and then what I would do is I wouldn't leave the other one at home. I would either bring your 35 F1.8 which it sounds like that's the the, the uh, focal length you like to shoot at for a fast prime, or I would take a 50 f1.8. I love 50s, and I'll use them for a portrait lens, but I also make do with them for street shooting and low light too. But the 35 is probably better for street and low light if that's what you're looking to do, and night photography. So I wouldn't leave it at home. It's small and it's light. I would throw it in the bag too because that's what you're going to want for the night photography. So that's what I would do. I would uh, my my top preference would be the eighteen to three. Second one would be the eighteen to two hundred, and then if if it's just price or something, then the eighteen to forty would be last in my in my lineup there, uh, just for convenience. They're great walk around lenses to have that full range on there. Let me throw it back to you guys though. What would you guys do? Do you agree with me? Would you go with an eighteen to three? Would you go with something else? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what your experience is if you've been shooting with these. Um, and it's always great to hear from you guys. We always appreciate your feedback because it helps our viewers when they're writing in the question. just rounds out the uh, opinions, the experience, the almost little mini user reviews sometimes. So always appreciate it, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, Stephen, thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.